developers, we have to download the installer using this link. And before we continue, let us know first what is Hot Potatoes. The Hot Potatoes suite includes six applications, enabling you to create interactive multiple choice, short answer, jumbled sentence, crossword, matching or ordering, and the gap fill exercises for the World Wide Web. Hot Potatoes is a freeware, and you may use it for any purpose or project you like. Yes, it is a suite which is composed of six applications, but we will only be focusing on the creation of crossword puzzle. Also, the crossword puzzle which created from this application can also be used offline. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start! First, we have the installation part. For the installer of the application, we can use this link to download. Open a browser and paste it on the address bar. Once the page has loaded, you just have to click on download. Now that the installer has been downloaded, you just have to double click on it. And when asked if you want to make this application do some changes in your computer, you just have to click yes. After that, a dialog box for the selection of language will appear and you just have to select English and click OK. Next part will be the dialog box for the installation of Hot Potato 6. For the first part, you just have to click next. For the second part, you need to select I accept the agreement and then click next. 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 And, and next. Then click install. Finally, we click finish, and there you have it. The application has been installed. After the installation, we will now be having the hands-on quick tour of the interface of the application. But before that, we need to activate the application by registering, providing a username. Make sure to remember the username that you chose. Click the checkbox I am the network administrator registering for all the users in this device then click OK after that click use English and there you have it this is the application hot potatoes 6 and just like with our introduction a while back we will only be focusing on the creation of crossword puzzle and for that we need to choose J cross Click on J-Cross. For the J-Cross application, we can use it with a small window or we can maximize the window depending on our preference. Next, let's have a quick tour of the application interface. We have the file where you can locate new, means new project, Open, open an existing project, save, save as, add reading text, add metadata, create a web page, create a zip package, create SCORM 1.2 package, and export for printing. Next, we have the edit. It is not yet activated since there is nothing to edit yet inside the application. Insert, you may insert picture or link. We have the manage grid, automatic grid maker, change the grid size or force opera case. On the option tab, we can have a configure output, font right to left, toolbar option, show tooltips, reload configuration information from file, interface, set source file location and clear source file location for the help we can have help contents internet help about and register next we have create a new exercise 
open a previously saved exercise because you can save an editable format of the J-Cross Hot Potato 6. Save this exercise to a disk. Save this exercise to a disk as a new file. Add or edit a reading text. We have Expert to Create Hot Potatoes version 6 web page. Quit the program. We have the undo, cut, copy, and paste. Also, we have the Create a Grid layout automatically from the list, which is very useful. And we have Go to Configuration screen to set a preference for the web page output. And lastly, on this part, we have the View the Help file. So it can also be located here on the upper part. To continue, we have the title part on this side. The clues, of course, we have the clues here. And we can see the across and down okay, words where you will be putting the clues for each entry. And it will be shown after this quick tour. So first, I'll click OK. We have some buttons here. And then that's it. And we're now down to the last part of our video tutorial, which is on the creation of the interactive electronic crossword puzzle using Hot Potato 6 J-Cross. At this moment, you are now familiar with the interface of this application. And we are ready to start to create our own electronic crossword puzzle. To start with, we need to choose a title or a topic. For this video tutorial, I choose the topic colors as an example. You might have experienced difficulties in plotting the letters of the words included in your puzzle using paper and pen or some other applications. But in this J-Cross, worry no more because we have this one, create a grid layout automatically, just click on that and you just enter the words you want to be included in your puzzle. For example, in this video tutorial, we have green, red, blue, brown, and yellow. Now, you just have to click on make the grid and that will be an automatic plotting of letters in the given grid inside this application. So as you can see, there is the green, red, brown, blue, and yellow. Now that we have our words plotted in our grid, it's time to add some clues. So below the title bar or the title space, you just click add clues. And as you can see here, words arranged across or horizontally and words arranged vertically or down are separated. Now, it's time to add some clues by clicking on the word and inputting the clues on the given space. So for the red, common color of the heart, blood, and apple. And then after adding the clue, you just click OK. See, the clue is already beside the word. Next, brown. Common color of the stem of trees. Okay. Yellow. Color of the sunflower. And I'll click OK. And we'll do the same on the words arranged vertically or under the category of down. So I'll click on green. Common color of leaves. And for the blue, okay, so let's click OK first. <laughs> and for the blue, color of the sky. And we click OK. After putting all the clues, we just click the OK with the green check below. Right now, we already have the title, the words, and the clues. Are we done? Not yet. Now, it's time to customize our e-crossword puzzle. 
for this part, we have to click on this tag button here. So on the first part, you can add subtitle for this default one we have crossword so we can make it electronic crossword puzzle and for the instructions we have complete the crossword and click check to check your answer if you are stuck you can click on hint to get a free letter click on a number in the grid to see the clue or clues for that number so this is the default instructions and for this example, I'm not going to change it since it suits the puzzle that I want to create. Next part, we have the prompts and feedback. So for the prompt and feedback, we can change actually this clues across into like for example, horizontal. Alright, and the clues down, we can change it into vertical. If the answer is correct, there will be, the answer is correct, this will be, if the answer is correct, this will be the feedback that the user will get. Correct, well done. We can change it into amazing. And for the answers that are incorrect, some of your answers are incorrect. Incorrect squares have been blacked out. We can change it into you can do it next time for the correct letter added a correct letter has been added and for the score you have your score is okay so I will not change that anymore next we have the buttons for the buttons we have the word check appearing on the button below the puzzle which is for checking the answer enter for entering the letters or the word or the answers and the OK if the final answer has been added. Now we have this include hint button. So there is an option whether you include the hint or not. So depending on how strict you are in giving this um, puzzle to your learners. Next we have the navigation caption include next exercise button. So I will no longer uh, change this uh, part since I'm just focusing on the crossword puzzle itself. And since the instruction said that they can click hint to have a free letter when they are stuck, let me include the hint button. Next part is the appearance. So this will focus on the font face, font size, and the colors. For this video tutorial, I will no longer be changing the default one since the default one suits the puzzle that I want to create. But just in case that you want to customize this, you can change the font uh, face here, the font size here, and the colors here. Alright, you just click on the rainbow like icon or button here to choose the color that you want for the navigation bar color for the page background title color background link color visited link and text color there you have it and this is the preview itself all right we also have the timer so you can set the time for the exercise so after this time finish or not finish the puzzle will be checked all right so for example let us set the timer and let me set the timer for 10 minutes since i only have a simple topic for the puzzle all right then we have other okay for this other you can have or you can explore them after this video tutorial because for the other custom and cgi they will not be included in this video all right when everything is fine and okay let's just click okay now it's time to save our crossword puzzle so for saving the crossword puzzle we will have to save it by clicking the disk icon here for the save and then putting a file name which is color puzzle Alright, so that is in the form of jcross file, meaning we are saving an editable file. Once you save this one, you just have to locate it. So I'll just need to select desktop in order for easy referencing. 
and then click save. Now, when we go to your desktop, you can see the color puzzle here. Alright, if you want to edit the content of this puzzle, you just open this um, icon and then you can see the editable format. This time, we will create a web page format for our puzzle. The web page format for the puzzle will be given to the learner or someone who you want to answer the puzzle. So in order to create a web page format, we just click on file and then create web page. And click or select the standard format, which is the only one available for this application. All right. So in this time, as you can see, it will be saved as HTML file. Okay, again, we will choose desktop for easy referencing and click save. Okay, now you can view the exercise in the browser automatically. Upload the file to the hotpotatoes.net if, you, if you're connected to the internet or do nothing. And we also have the button for help. For this one, I will click nothing because I want us to see where is the icon for that HTML version of our puzzle is. So that is located in, of course, our desktop as what we selected a while back. Here it is. Now, the default browser of your computer will be the icon for this HTML file or web page format of the puzzle. So let me open it using Microsoft Edge since Microsoft Edge is the default browser on of my computer. Okay. All right, so here we are. We have now the electronic crossword puzzle. So in order to answer this, just like in the instruction, click on the number here, colors of the leaves, and we can input our answer, then click enter. All right, so again, click the number, enter. We do not answer on the puzzle. We answer by clicking the letters, okay? Common colors of um, stem of trees. So we have brown. And we have the color of this sky blue. And then we have the last color. Color of a sunflower. So we have yellow. Yeah, so we also have our timer here. It's still running. Also, we have the hint button if um, we are stuck and we need to have free letter. We have the check button here. So when we click check, the score will be in a percentage form. So your score is 100% since I got all the correct answer. Alright, but what if your default browser is Internet Explorer? So let me open it in internet explorer so open with internet explorer this part you might encounter this dialog box so you just have to click ask me later then open it okay as you can see the time is not running here what what you need to do is just click allow block content and enable there you have it. Now, you have the timer and other contents that were blocked because of the unknown source of our application. Or the browser did not recognize the Hot Potato 6 application yet. Alright. So that's it for our video tutorial on how to create electronic crossword puzzle using Hot Potato 6 Jake Cross.